Oh, what? Minecraft in space? Indeed, ladies and gentlemen, this is the long-awaited Minecraft update. Caves and cliffs? Take a seat. Allow us to introduce to you the new Great Leap Forward in Minecraft technology. You can now travel to 18 quintillion planets, not just stuck in a couple of shitty biomes. And not only that, you can finally have cars in Minecraft. So you may be wondering to yourself, what is this revolutionary update going to be called? Well, we're going to call it Nomad Sky. Nomad Sky is a survival and explorer game set in space. So basically Minecraft in space. You can build your own house and trade with people. So basically Minecraft. You can discover planets, travel to different galaxies, and even kill poor defenseless animals. So basically, who doesn't love a little intergalactic genocide? You get thrown into the game with zero resources, a mining beam, a starship that is wrecked, and a dream. With a little bit of CTE thrown in there. You start off on a hot ass planet and need to find a way to get out of that planet with your ship. Once you leave the planet, you can find other planets and claim them for yourself. And now you're set free into the world. You can now travel to different galaxies and planets. The main gameplay elements are exploration, looting, and crafting. The minor additions are combat. The combat isn't really all the way fleshed out. You ain't gonna be pulling some Batman shit, dog. You are a regular ass traveler. You are no different than the others. There's two different types of combat, aerial and ground combat. With ground combat, you're straight up slaughtering animals, minding their business, destroying sentinels, which are little annoying ass robots that chase you around when you're taking resource from a planet because Toasty! we have aerial combat someone please hold me the fuck back the dog fighting is dog shit dog you can't outspeed and flank the enemy because apparently they have fucking sensors or some shit that can detect the tiniest of fucking movements bruh and these annoying ass ships hit you from across the map on some gta aimbot shit bruh like i'm dead ass behind cover and you dead ass smack me in the middle of the fucking face saying oh stupid <laughs> stupid like bro Get the fuck off my cock. Stop riding my dick without a license, bro. One of the most crucial features of Nomad Sky is storage. As soon as you possibly can, you should unlock as much storage as possible. You attain a large amount of items as you play the game. You gotta store all that excess lubricant somewhere, you freak. Fortunately, you have various places you can store your items. You have a freighter which has probably the most amount of storage in game. You have your exosuit. suit. Also, these big block things. I'm gonna keep it a dollar seventy-five. I did not give a shit about No Man's Story Sky. Something, something, Artemis. Something, something. I don't think you should buy it for the story either. To keep it a hundred, you should buy the game if you like exploring new planets and a sense of progression by unlocking new ships, crafting items, uh, just new items in general, unlocking new technologies. Uh, that's what mostly this game is centered around: just exploration and gathering intel to understand the game better. The story acts as a supplement to your exploration. It's just giving you the tools to travel out further expand your your bases create new exocrafts get technology for your exocrafts that's basically what is there the story tells you to visit different solar systems and planets and you have to play through the game to unlock some items such as the anomaly and you also have to play the game to hire different species to work for you and it gives you some station there's no voice acting in the game it's only text so get ready to read the fucking bible anytime you interact with any minorly intelligent ai i'm setting a prayer right now for all my dyslexic folks bro we're praying for you no man's guy has a feature where in the beginning you don't understand a single thing that these creatures are saying and after some interacting and collecting knowledge also with, with the use of the translator you can begin to understand their language which is tedious at first but it makes it much more immersive i mean dog you become fluent even though you've never interacted with these people probably got brain damage from crashing into the planet that would be a big ass slap in the face to all of the people that are really into the lore overall no man's sky is an extremely solid and ambitious game there's a lot to do in the game and it's kind of in overwhelming at first i'm gonna keep it a, a buck 75 and the majority if not all the updates have been free I give No Man's Sky a 4 out of 5 carbon rating. Definitely worth the money if you like exploration games. And I am out. Press that like button. Smack the shit out of it. You know what to do. You know the drill. Alright. I'll see you until next video. Hopefully I next video.